The idea of atomic theory was first considered by Manchester chemist John Dalton. Dalton, born on the 6th of September 1766, formulated the idea when wondering why water reacts with different amounts of different gases. In 1803, Dalton published his Table of Atomic Weights, and with it the five principles of his atomic theory. This table originally consisted of only six elements, and we now know one of his principles to be wrong, but his findings were accepted as true until the discovery of the electron in 1897 by physicist J.J. Thomson. Also from Manchester, Thomson discovered that Leonard rays, named for the Austrian physicist awarded the Nobel Prize for his research on cathode rays, moved far faster through the medium of air than was expected from the smallest of atoms. Using the heat generated by the rays, along with their magnetic deflection, Thomson calculated that these rays weighed over 1,000 times less than a ray of hydrogen atoms, and also that the properties of these rays were the same, independent of the element used to generate them. From this information, he devised that atoms were not elementary, but are built from smaller subatomic particles, including the electron which he had discovered. Thomson also created the first model for the structure of the atom. He presumed that his negatively charged electrons would be equally surrounded by positive charge. This was known as the Plum Pudding Model. This model was widely accepted until the work of Ernest Rutherford in 1909, who, with the help of Hans Geiger and Ernest Marsden, discovered the modern nuclear model of the atom. Working from his laboratory in Manchester, Rutherford fired alpha radiation particles through a vacuum onto a gold foil sheet. The vacuum was surrounded by zinc sulfide screens capable of detecting the alpha particles. The plum pudding model determined that these alpha particles would pass through the foil undisturbed, but Rutherford's findings were entirely different. Rutherford recorded that only some of the particles passed directly through the screen, and that a small amount were deflected, sometimes at very large angles. Rutherford used this information to remodel the atom. Rutherford understood that for a small amount of particles to be deflected dramatically, the atom must contain a small and highly charged nucleus surrounded by the low-mass electrons. Although this model is still the one used today, it was not until 1920 that, using the idea that hydrogen nuclei were elemental, Rutherford suggested the proton, and he did not consider the existence of the neutron until 1921. Although the model of the atom had now been formulated, the basics of atomic chemistry were not complete until Henry Moseley, another British physicist, used X-ray spectroscopy to determine the atomic numbers of the elements. Before this point, the elements in Dmitri Mendeleev's periodic table were arranged in order of their mass, but after Moseley's work, elements could be arranged into their correct order by atomic number.